Hi guys, welcome back to Get A Brood. So we're going to look at packaging your beer. So you've brewed your beer, you've sterilized your bottles, and you're getting ready to put the beer into a bottle. So what you're wanting to do is add a sugar, whether that be dextrose or a carbonation drop or something like that there, to create a secondary fermentation and carbonate the liquid within the bottle. So we're taking the bottle, it's been sterilized, and we're wanting to put the beer into the bottle. So gravity is your friend here if you're using one of the Get A Brewed Beer starter kits. So we have a really handy bottle filling stick. The bottle filling stick attaches onto the tap. Turn your tap on and the beer will start to flow in through the clear part of the bottle filling stick. It's spring-loaded at the bottom. So if you imagine your bottle comes up, once the spring hits the, or the, the little tab hits the bottom of the bottle, flow starts. You just visually watch that flow until it fills to the required level and then pull the bottle away. And once the bottle's pulled away, because this is spring loaded, the beer just remains within the tube and it's ready to start with the next bottle. You have your 500 ml bottle here and you're wanting to put the beer that you've brewed into it, but you also want to carry out a secondary fermentation. So we have a number of options for you. So we have priming sugar, which is dextrose monohydrate. Um, if it's a 500 ml bottle, what you're wanting to do is use a little funnel and just put one level teaspoon per 500 ml bottles into the bottle. That's sufficient for one 500 ml bottle. Another option that we have are carbonation drops. So we have the Mangrove Jacks carbonation drops. Now the description on the back uh, it says one drop for 350 mils, two drops for 750 and so on and so forth. So maybe for a 500 mil bottle, they're not the ideal solution for you because you're, you're going to have to look at, at breaking up carbonation drops. These are a really new product that have been brought out by our pals at um, Browland. So Brew Firm Carbonation Drops, you can see they're designed they're like little bottle shapes and they're designed specifically for certain bottle sizes. So these are for 330ml bottles and these are for 500ml bottles, so just one drop per bottle, so quite simply lift one out, pop it into the bottle, fill the bottle up using your bottle filling stick and then it comes to capping. So we've looked at how to get the beer into the bottle, we've looked at which sugar solution or carbonation drop to add, remember that you're choosing one of these, it's not all of these, and then we want to cap the bottle. So bottles, we've covered this before in the bottling solutions with how to clean them effectively. Okay, so gravity is your friend here in relation to packaging. So taking our bottle filling stick, just pop the tap over the edge of the table that I'm working at here. Pop on, make sure that's nice and secure. Turn on the flow. Taking the bottle, we've got our um, tap switched to on. So bottle pops up and you can see as the spring hits the bottom of the bottle, the liquid beer starts to flow into the bottle. So what we want to achieve here is bring this up to just above the, the curve on the, the neck of the bottle. And you've got your priming solution, whether that be dextrose or whether that be a carbonation drop in the liquid at this stage. So bottle's coming up to just about where I want it. Pull that away. Pull that away. So we have the beer filled to the level that I'm wanting to um, achieve. And then what we're going to do is pop a cap onto this really quickly. Pop a cap. Pop a cap. <laughs> yeah. So we've, we've got our bottle, got our beer filled to the level that we want. We've got our carbonation drop or brewing sugar, whatever you've chosen to use in relation to that. Um, I have a sterilizer solution there ensuring that the caps are nice and clean. So there's a little magnetic top on the, the cappers. Again, there's different solutions for cappers. So we've Captain cappers, Vic cappers, we've tabletop cappers, Dock Revolution cappers. There's lots of different options. Um, it's all down to your budget and what you want from it. So whether you want to be able to do it much quicker using a tabletop capper, whether you're happy just with the, the basic um, Vic capper. So making sure that we've got the cap on the bottle correctly, that the lever's sitting steady. <laughs> you want to make this a nice smooth motion, being aware that you don't want the bottle to slip on you, 
because it's a glass bottle you don't want an accident to happen so just nice and firmly push down on top of the bottle that pops the cap onto place and then again nice and firmly popping up whether that is just by stabilizing using your thumbs to take the support of the arms of the capper and then just bring it off and you can see that um, the capper leaves that nice little circle just on the top of the cap so you know that you put that on with really good force and it's a really good seal it's important that this is on really nice and tight to prevent anything getting in and spoiling the beer or anything getting out once that is packaged um, it needs to carry out the secondary fermentation that I was telling you about that's really simple so if you've fermented your beer in your fermentation bin at 20 degrees the bottles then need to remain at that temperature to allow the secondary fermentation to take place so usually a week again we would say is plenty so into somewhere nice and warm at about 20 degrees for one week then somewhere cold for up to two weeks and that allows it some time to condition and then the beer can be enjoyed so just to summarize that for you once you've taken the beer out of the fermentation bin uh, used your bottle filling stick and um, filled it up to the required level added a carbonation drop or your priming sugar to allow secondary fermentation to take place you've capped it you've put it somewhere warm for one week then you transfer it somewhere cold for two weeks then you can enjoy the beer and that's very briefly how you do bottling and capping your product at home thanks so much for watching until next time